everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tasty Tuesday. Today we're going to be making baked pumpkin seeds. The first step of course is carving the pumpkin, so let's get right into this. Perfect. Okay, well, I just put the seeds inside and washed my hands a little bit, but this is what it, the final product looks like. I think it looks pretty good, but uh, the point of this video is we're gonna clean off those seeds and then put them in the oven and show you guys how it turns out. Looks like someone's hiding. What are you doing, Duke? I don't think there's any food here. Okay, now I'm just gonna run the seeds underwater just to wash off the rest of that pumpkin. Okay, so I've washed off most of the pumpkin from the seeds and now I'm gonna put these on a cookie sheet and salt them and we'll put them in the oven. Next, you're gonna spray the cookie sheet with Pam. And then what you want to do is spread the pumpkin seeds evenly throughout the cookie sheet. So what you can do is dry off the seeds a little bit, but still let some water be on there so the salt can stick to that water. Now that I have all my seeds laid out, I'm just gonna salt them. Okay, so the oven's preheated to 350. We're gonna put these in and leave them in there for 25 minutes. While we wait for the pumpkin seeds to cook, I'm gonna rig up a way to have this little light available at hatchetsurvival.com fit inside the pumpkin. And that way I can leave this on outside and don't have to worry about a candle catching the whole pumpkin on fire. The nice thing about these lanterns is they're super lightweight and portable. So my biggest problem my first time camping was a good way to light up the tent without trying to hang really heavy glass lanterns that could fall and shatter. So my solution are these little plastic light bulbs that just use batteries to run. They're really durable, so if they fall, it's not like it's gonna shatter into a million glass pieces. But anyways, I'm gonna use this little lantern to light my pumpkin, but let's go inside and check up on our pumpkin seeds. All right, so it's been 25 minutes and now we can take these out and try them. My pumpkin seeds are done. I salted them and everything, and now I'm gonna try them. As I expected, they're really good. Make sure you add a lot of salt though, because that's what adds all the flavor, really. Please leave a comment and let me know what you think of my hatchet jack-o'-lantern. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Tasty Tuesday, and have a great day.